So I've been getting a lot of questions about how to do this one. Um, so we're going to go through it. Like a lot of equilibrium problems, it starts out with an ice chart, um, writing down the reaction. So the reaction, this is from earlier in the book, is BAF2, and it said that this is a solid, is going to form BA2 plus and 2F minus. And so if we write down our ice chart, I, C, E, again, we can quickly notice that this is a solid. So once again, this is out of the picture. We don't care. And usually, we can assume the initial concentrations of these is zero. And all we're told is the K value. We want to find the final concentrations of BA2 plus and F minus. Well, what do we know? All we know is that these are going to increase. Because right now, Q is zero. It has to get larger in order to equal this K value. So BA2 plus is going to go up by some unknown amount. And what's the unknown amount? Let's just call it x. So if BA2 plus goes up by x, since this is a 1 to 2 ratio, F minus must go up by a factor of 2x. So our final concentrations, BA2 plus is just going to be x. F minus is going to be 2x. So those are the final concentrations. Now the formula for K in this reaction, K is going to equal... BA2 plus, whatever that concentration happens to be, times F minus's concentration. And because there's a 2 in front of it, we're going to have to square that. And I know we already used the 2 here to determine the 2x, but we're going to have to use it again because that is what the formula for K is. We just can't help that. There's nothing we can do about it. Now, we know the value of K. It's 1.84 times 10 to the negative 7. So now we're going to plug in these final concentrations and then solve for X. So I have 1.84 times 10 to the negative 7 equals, what is the concentration of BA2 plus? X. Times, what is the concentration of F minus? 2X. However, it's being squared. And the entire concentration is being squared. So it's 2X in parentheses squared. Now algebraically, to simplify this, 2X times 2X is 4X squared. So I get 4X squared here. But that still gets multiplied by x here. So now I have, if I simplify this whole thing, this is essentially 4x cubed. And that equals 1.84 times 10 to the negative 7. So now we simplify. We'll divide by 4 on each side. And so I'll get that x cubed equals 1.84 times 10 to the negative 7 divided by 4. I get 4.6 times 10 to the negative 8. And now I'm going to have to do the cube root of both sides to get what x is. And for most of you, if you don't have a cube root button on your calculator, you can just raise it to the one-third power. And don't make this mistake. Make sure that when you put it into your calculator, um, you so if you have 4.6 times 10 to the negative 8 raised to the one-third power, Put the one-third in parentheses, or your calculator is not going to do it properly. So if you raise that to the one-third power, you get that x equals 3.58 times 10 to the negative 3. But that's not quite what the question asks. The question asks the final concentrations of BA2 plus and F minus. Well, since the final concentration of BA2 plus is simply x, that is the final concentration of BA2+. The final concentration of F-, minus, however, is 2x, so we'll have to double this. So that means F- minus's concentration will be twice this, or 7.17. I might have been rounding a little bit here. Times 10 to the negative 3. Yeah, based on rounding. So that's F-, minus, and this is BA2+. Plus. And that's it. All right. So until next time, I'm Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.